Hey guys, it's me Carly coming at you with another video and this video has been specially requested by my good friend well, I don't know what we call ourselves, but yeah, we're friends here on YouTube Chris Jones or otherwise known here as the Wicked Merman on YouTube and Disney Fan Forever 3 on Tumblr and Azula Lover 1 on um <laughs> on DeviantArt. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this video is going to be my Lady and the Tramp Scamps Adventure review. So this is the second Lady and the Tramp movie. And I hereby dedicate this review to my buddy, the Wicked Merman here on YouTube. So if you see me looking down a lot, I took some notes while watching the movie. Sometimes I'm, I'm really not the best note taker, so bear with me while I review this movie. Um, it's been so long since I've seen the first movie, but because of this lovely fan fiction I'm reading, pause to thumbs, which I'll link in the description box. Which I think I said I'd link something else in my last video. And I forgot to do it, but I'll try to remember to link the fanfiction story in the uh, description box when I'm done with this review. Because that's why I'm doing this review. So anyways, um, I really enjoyed this movie. Because I'm one of those few people in the world that actually prefer Disney sequels over the um, original, like for example, I love the second Little Mermaid. It's my favorite sequel. It's my favorite, it's my favorite sequel of The Little Mermaid. Uh, the third movie of Little Mermaid was nah. The animation and the sisters at least were gorgeous and got a personality, so. Yeah, and um, I'm really not going to compare uh, Lady and the Tramp 2, Scamp's Adventure, to the first Lady and the Tramp, because, they, because again, it's been years since I've seen the movies. But let's get into the review. So, the things I've enjoyed about this movie is um, really the message of unconditional love because like no matter how terrible you are no matter how um naughty you are your your parents good good parents are still gonna love you just the same um so that's basically scamp and scamp and tramp um they remind me a lot of Ariel and Melody because, and funny and fun fact, Allison Milano is designed after Melody, but was it a voice of a character in this movie? And that I can't think of it at the top, off the top of my head. But in the second Lady in the Tramp movie, Jodie Benson is, um, aka the voice of Ariel is the voice of Lady in this movie. So I thought that was funny that you have the voice of Ariel being the voice of Lady and that uh, Lady's husband and son's relationship remind me of Ariel and Melody's relationship. So I thought that was pretty funny. So, um, because Tramp was born a street dog, settled down, had a child, or, well, children, obviously, because Scamp has sisters, but ended up having a son just like him, born because he, because Tramp was originally a street dog until he met Lady and blah, 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 and then boom, they had kids. And then uh, Scamp was born a house dog, and blah, hated rules, blah, blah, blah. So basically, he's like a reverse version of Tramp, I guess. 
And then, of course, because it's Disney, it has to have a happy ending. And eventually, Scamp comes to his senses. And um, Mer- Ariel, Ari- yeah, blah, blah, blah. Ariel was born a he- mermaid, settled down with the human, gave up the mermaid life for the human life, blah, blah, blah. And um, then had a daughter named Melody, of course. And then Melody, of course, was born a human, blah, 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 wanted to be a mermaid. And yeah, so basically, it, Eric Scamp and um, Melody are pretty much the same, I guess. Although Melody didn't get to develop a beautiful relationship with that merman named Alex. Although they're like around the same age. So anyway... Um, Junior, oh my gosh. Okay, so he's Jim and someone, where's, like, am I wrong? Or was the, was Jim's wife named Darling? Or was their last name named, or was, or were they last named Darling? Because Darling is Wendy's last name. Or was it Jim Deer and Darling Deer? Yeah, I think it was that. Very odd names, I guess. I mean, Scamp's sisters had more human names, so who knows? Um, hold on. Junior, oh, he is just the sweetest little boy. I wanted to cuddle him so much. And his love for Scamp... Oh, it was just so amazing and gorgeous. And he's a little boy, but that dog, Scamp, is his bestie. So so it was very nice seeing that. But of course, Scamp is somewhat of a little shit through the movie. Okay, so anyways, um, the way Scamp's adventures start is that Scamp ends up, you know, Scamp's a disobedient dog, blah, blah. And then he ends up getting chained outside. But then he sees these other dogs having fun. And so much fun that he runs to, um, that he's trying to break free from the chain because he was mudded up outside. And then him and his father have a huge argument. And so... Finally, Tramp breaks free of the, or not Tramp, Scamp breaks free of the chain and he goes and runs with these dogs like Buster. Buster is like the only junkyard dog I can remember. And these Siamese cats and this weird ass creepy dog and Angel, a cute little dog who becomes his girlfriend. And I'll probably gush about Skangel or whatever their ship name is because I'm going to call him Skangel. (laughs) That's really not a good ship name, but anyway... I really, really liked it because from what I've been told about Lady and the Tramp, Lady and the Tramp, like, oh, Lady's totally sexy dog, literally, and Scamp is a sexy male dog, and let's, like, put them together, and bam, bopple, they have kids. Okay, um, it would be really nice to see... If they were to make a third movie about Scamp, or just a movie revolving around Scamp and Angel, I would really like to see a development of a uh, a relationship between Scamp and his three sisters, who are just little mini versions of Lady. And I think their names were Nicolette, Danielle, and Annette. But one of them was named Danielle. I don't think I have that right, though. So, it's... I'm only remembering Tramp, Lady Scamp, Angel, and Buster, and the stupid Siamese cats who were like the auntie's cat. Okay, you can tell how well I paid attention to this movie because I only really paid attention to Scamp and Angel. Um, one of my favorite scenes, well, it's not my favorite and it is my favorite, is Angel scolding scamp 
because she's been kicked out of five families and Scamp has been in only one family and has a bunch of people who care about them and Angel's parents died. So it makes it, and she's been kicked out because, oh, someone has allergies or they move or they have another baby and she's desperately looking for a home. My God, so I'm sorry. My computer is not flipped yet. So she's looking for a home and she's really mad at Scamp for choosing life with Buster. We're going to talk about him in a few minutes. And then, yeah. Okay. Um, we got to talk about the pedophilic undertones in this movie. Because Buster throughout the movie constantly refers to like, Oh, Angel Baby, doesn't that sound great? Or is that true, Angel Baby? Oh, Angel, you're my girl. And I'm like, WTF. Angel is a little girl. Okay, well, not a little girl. She's a puppy. Angel's a literal puppy. And Buster is an adult dog. So... It's a little creepy and weird... And, um, and I know in dog world, it doesn't matter if, uh, the siblings fucking have children because I think my neighbor's dogs did that. They were siblings and then the girl dog got pregnant by the brother dog. So that's a bit weird. Like there's a lot of shit that goes down in the animal kingdom that is probably for meant for a whole nother video. But anyway... And I guess age doesn't matter to dogs as long as the dog is fertile. So I that's a bit awkward. So what do we call dogs like Buster or that one creepy lady dog who's ugly as hell? Sorry. That one dog who was hitting on Scamp was just... Well, she was not a pretty dog. I mean... Who the hell was she? And she was hitting on Scamp, who's a little puppy? And I came up with the name. I think they're, they're puppophiles, which is like the equivalent of a pedophile. But a older dog who hits on a puppy, I guess, or who has an attraction to a puppy. So, yeah, they're definitely puppophiles. Um, let's see. Uh, one of my favorite scenes and not favorite scene is Tramp busting Scamp for stealing the turkey at the 4th of July picnic because Tramp is annoyed but he's not really angry or if he is angry he's concealing it and he's trying to talk to his son and he's still showing it's like hey I love you unconditionally, no matter what. And I'm always here for you. I'm always here to pick you up for your mistakes. And I'm always going to be here for you. So that I, that's the part I like. But I didn't like, of course, that scamp. Of course, the cliche choice is to go with Buster. And he went with Buster. Now, Buster and Tramp have a long history together. And also, okay, sorry. Um, yeah, and of course it has a happy ending and blah, blah, blah. So Angel, I love Angel. She's probably one of my favorite characters. She has a mind of her own and she wants to get out of her gang life, if you will, because technically... Junkyard dogs are the equivalent to gangsters. So, yeah. They're like equivalent, equivalent to gang violence and all that. And she doesn't want to be in the junkyard dogs, but she's kicked in part of the junkyard dog group. But she's been kicked out of five families. 
and she but she doesn't want to be the but she feels like she has no choice but to be part of the the junkyard dogs so that was a very interesting element to see um and then scamp says and then she tells she confines and confides in scamp and she's the first person or he's the first pup that she tells about this and you know scamp promises to keep her secret but then when um they have a fight about how scamp chooses not to go home and he chooses buster over his father for a brief period scamp of course has to spill the beans and tell tells uh angel's secret so that was a little upsetting but i kind of got where scamp was coming from and then and then angel just i love it when angel just calls out scamp's terrible behavior it's my favorite thing i love it just keep him in check uh so finally and of course angel ends up living with scamp's family and ends up getting adopted and finds a home and oh my gosh she's so happy blah 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 okay but some questions i have for this movie is one how does buster not figure out that scamp is the son of tramp right away I mean, he figures it out eventually because of the way Scamp scratches himself. Because apparently that's how Tramp used to scratch himself. And then he sees Scamp and Tramp doing the same motion. And, but yeah. I mean, Tr Scamp is literally a little version of, of Tramp. He's a miniature version of Tramp and their names rhyme. So how does Buster not put two and two together right away or none of the junkyard yard dogs do hmm just i'm a little confused about that um i already talked about buster hitting on angel that is just really creepy angel is a freaking puppy and buster is an adult dog so that's a bit odd. I put pink lotion in my hair because my hands are getting a little dry. But, yeah. Um, other things I have. Um, my other question, and it's not really related to the movie, but how does Scamp look like a miniature version of Tramp? But probably, and he looks like he has no traces of his mother. And his sisters look like little mini ladies, like, as in the dog, lady. They look like a miniature version of his mother, but they don't look like they have traces of tramp in them. I, I wonder how that works, because they don't look like they're mixed breed. But then again, it could just be to have it differentiate that these are the girl dogs and scamps a boy i guess so who knows um i did enjoy this movie overall because what i took away from it was unconditional love um that no matter how much you think and sometimes ugh, how do i phrase this i also took from it, that sometimes the things you really really want and desire in life are things you end up regretting or that you really it turns out you don't want them in life so it turns out scamp didn't really want to be a street dog he just was tired of rules and ch being chained up and um angel didn't want to be a junkyard dog but she doesn't make that prevalent i mean she makes it very clear within the first half of the movie and, um, or, well, in the second half. And the junk, all the junkyard dogs pretty much abandoned Buster. Although, 
I did find it, I did get a little scared for Tramp when Buster attacked him and like ripped his collar off. So, because it just proves to him that Buster is a, or it was to prove to him that Buster was a junkyard, ugh, that Scamp was ready to be a junkyard dog, which Bust, I guess Buster did the dog equivalent of hazing Scamp, and then he set Scamp up to be set up, ugh, caught by the dog catcher. Which is another, it's not my favorite scene in the movie. It made me really mad at Buster. Well, duh, because Buster is the villain of, in this movie. But I did like how Angel and um, Tramp came to Scam's rescue. And um, I thought it was beautiful. Because, like, no matter what trouble you've gotten yourself into, you, I'm always here for you. So I thought that was really amazing. And, um, and then finally, the ending. I know this review, sorry if this review was all over the place, because I'm not a very organized person, but I'm trying to, I literally just watched this movie, but the internet, I watched, but I watched it on my computer, and the internet was terrible, and it kept buffering, so that was annoying. But anyway, I really love this movie. The ending was good. Because Scamp, of course, came to his senses, and then he stood up to Buster, and then, like, a heaping pile of garbage, literally a heaping pile of garbage fell on Buster, because I guess that is, fits Buster's personality, which is trash. And then Angel is like, oh, Buster, the garbage suits you. It adds an extra bit of class. And then, so all the junkyard dogs abandon Buster, and Buster is asking for help, but of course, Buster being... The selfish dog that he is, he won't get any, give anyone help. But he, when he needs it, he'll ask for it. But he won't get it, get it because that's karma, bitches. Sorry, but yeah. So the ending, it ends with Angel being adopted by the Deers, I think. Are their names really Darling Deer and Jim Deer? I, please put in the comments below if I'm wrong. Because it's this is the first time in years since I've watched this movie. And Angel's adopted and she gets a cute little pink ribbon and it's just so cute and I love it. And I love the fact that she finally finds her home and Scamp comes to his senses. But before that, when they do go home, before they go home, Scamp's like, I'm taking my collar back pretty much. And then, yeah, I really really like this movie angel saves scamp's life from a train um i don't know anyways these are my thoughts on the movie uh teaches unconditional love and be careful what you wish for basically so anyways i hope you have a good night Again, this was dedicated to my friend here on YouTube, Chris Jones, a.k.a. Wicked. He's now Wicked Merman. And um, I will link his fan fiction because he, I am dedicated in this review to him. So anyways, I hope you have a good day. Have a good night. If you want to see more content, um, like, share, and subscribe. Put a comment down below. And uh, toodaloo.